What's up everybody, welcome to your 38th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to import modules. Now um, before I tell you guys even what that means, um, when you're working in idle like right here, anytime you quit idle, all of your variables and functions that you made in idle get lost. So in it would also be useful in, instead of just losing all your variables and functions to save them and it's also useful in case you like write a function and you want to use it in a lot of programs and you don't want to have to rewrite re it a bunch of times um, you can make something called a module and it'll save all your variables and functions for you and you can just import it um, anytime you're using another program or idle such as this so to do this go ahead and in your um, idle go ahead and put file new window and this new window is going to pop up right here. Now in this window, we're going to create some modules. And these modules are going to hold things that we want to keep. But you need to do this a specific way, so pay attention. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and create a quick module called test mod. You can name yours anything you want. Just have empty parameters. This is just going to be a simple one. And let's just print out um, this baby worked and now once you have a test module just uh, put anything in there we just need something to test it a simple print statement will work fine what you need to do is save it put save as and in your directory which is python 26 or whatever version you're working with make sure you don't save it anywhere else because when python looks for these modules it's only going to look in specific locations and this is one of the locations it looks at Go ahead and save it and remember this name. I'm going to save mine as swine flu because that's what's in the news today. Dot .py. And again, this name and the py extension are both very important. But more so, you have to remember the name more than anything. And I'll show you why later. So go ahead and save it as some name, then py, then press save. Now we have a module named swineflu.py. You can see the name over my cursor right here. And now we can import this module into whatever program we're working with. So go ahead and open idle right here. Let me make it so you both can see. Uh, right there. Good enough. Actually, there we go. Now in your idle, you can now import that swineflu module and you do it like this import and then you put whatever name of the module you just created and that's why the name was important but make sure not to put that py extension that's just so python can find it so go ahead and import whatever the name of the file and again the file name is the py actually the module name is actually the file name minus the py so that's how you can remember it now go ahead and press enter and you just imported all of your modules in your swine flu file. Now let's go ahead and see if it worked. Now once you want to call a module, you need an object to call. And the object is actually the name of whatever the file you imported. So instead of having to create an object and set it equal to your modules, all you have to do is write the name of the file, which was swine flu, and then write whatever module you want to call. So mine was named, what was my name actually? Test mod. So you put swine flu test mod. I almost forgot it already. And go ahead and press enter. And that's how you use, or more so, however you store modules in an outside file. And you can just import them and call them whenever you want. And as you can see, if you made like a bun bunch of functions and variables and you want to use it over and over again, it'll be a pain in the butt to just keep typing it over and over again in every program you wrote. So this is how you can import um, different modules and how to create it from a file. Now one last thing I want to stress, once you import SwineFlu one time, you can't import it again since, well, it would just be stupid and it would just confuse Python. So let me show you guys something. Say we uh, find out we wanted this to actually say this baby is fat or something. So what we would do is go ahead and you would think that what you would do is go ahead this baby 
is fat. Now go ahead and press save. We save this module. Now once we imported it again, import swine swine flu and then go ahead swine flu dot test mod it still says this baby worked that's because you can only import your module one time now if you wanted this to actually show up that th this baby is fat like it was before what you would need to do is close this all together go open up a new oidal and go ahead and push import swine flu and then now once you imported this again this imports the new file then you can do swine flu dot test mod and again it would say this baby is fat so uh, just to stress you can only import a module once per program and even though you can uh, change your module even if you change it and then import it again it's not going to import again it's just going to import once so that's your quick tutorial on how to import modules and again this is useful if you write a bunch of functions and a bunch of variables that you want to save somewhere else but you want to use um, over and over again so uh, practice doing that and make sure that you use the PY extension and make sure you save it where it tells you to save it or else it's not going to be able to find it so in the next story I'm going to be going over um, other things that you can do with imported modules and also be clearing up this a little bit more so you understand a little better but for now thank you guys for watching i hope to see you next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time